Hi, this is Sue. I wanted to share my journal with you before I send it off in the mail. I participated in the denim blue jean swap on Junk Journal Junkies. The journal was to use at least two repurposed or recycled items. My journal turned out to be five by seven and a half inches. For the cover, I used an instant oatmeal box and I covered it with a pair of blue jeans. Uh, it's just the butt, you know, so it's got the two back pockets and it was cut and I glued the seam down the center. And I used a variety of pages inside. I used some brown paper bags, I used some phone book pages, some coffee filters, and I coffee stained some of the papers, some notebook papers. Uh, I used some of the oatmeal bags and made some pockets and then I repurposed some eyeglasses. I added a little bit of bling on the front. It says inspired on there. You can see that. Add the paper flower, layers of paper flower on the sides. Got some fibers and blings as well. And also some beads made out of paper strips. I watched Jenny Belly's video on how to make paper beads. She's so talented. That was kind of fun watching that. On the back, uh, there's lots of tabs on the sides. Inside on the back. There's a little clothespin, some bling and denim on top. And then I made this heart. Yeah, I sewed that. Don't really sew, so it's kind of awesome. And I like the Tim Holtz clamps, and I never really know where to use them, so I thought, well, I'm going to clamp that heart on the butt, on the back. So now there's a heart on the back. I have four signatures inside, and I used the stitch binding for binding it all together. And uh, we'll just kind of do a fast flip through so I can keep it under 10 minutes this time and see if I can really pull this off. I added a little journal in the pocket when I was making little journals one day. This one has a calendar picture inside and I just stitched around the edges and then added some pages and did a little bit of stamping in there. So you can write down all kinds of little personal thoughts. Uh, this is the eyeglasses. They just kind of sit on there. They got a little bling on the corners. And I glued some photos in. She can she can glue in her own photos and kind of personalize the journal to her liking. It has a closure, which is a headband closure. So it's kind of nice. It looks kind of like leather almost. So I really like that. So um, this is it inside. I like to have pockets in the covers. This is a soda bag from Crack, soda cracker bag. I didn't have any glycine bags. I really like those. But So I just added some ribbons and buttons and fibers and a little a tag inside there. for She can personalize some journaling there. All the signatures have uh, some designer cardstock with some tuck spots. And it has carries kind of the denim theme throughout. doesn't really have a lot of um, lacy Victorian stuff. Just pretty much denim and pretty basic. The person that fills it up can add all kinds of pretty things to it. So uh, here's my phone book pages and some more pockets and tuck spots. Uh, this is coffee dyed notebook paper. Got a little tab on top of there and there's some some of the vintage denim downloaded from the internet and it has a pocket on it too and the, some washi tape for sticking some stuff inside when you fill it up and this has another pocket there's a little place to journal and it just sticks right in there and they never go back in very well and I use some tissue paper in some spots and some more there's some bling on the corner there with a little flower I made cut this little heart out of the denim and have this little paper clip with the ribbon on top for some color and here's another vintage tab with the burlap tab on top. There's a burlap band here with some buttons and kind of a coffee filter flap page with the little dreams and inspiration on it. And there's another, there's one of the, that's the clothespin there. They're really little tiny. Some more Levi's pockets. Kind of downloaded some of the buttons. They got kind of big, but it made nice tuck spots. And this is one of the tissue paper. I kind of polyed it, kind of firmed it up a little bit, so it works a little better for a page. 
There's this one of the oatmeal bags that I used to create a pocket so I can tuck things in there. There's a little believe tag and in between the signatures there's a pretty good space so she can add things on the covers too. This is just a gauze bag I sewed up, put a little fabric heart on it and and made a kind of a matching little paper that sticks in there for journaling. And here's a pharmacy bag, some denim sayings, pockets. I stamped a little bicycle on there. Never really stamped it before. Kind of went through to the other side, so that was kind of neat. Turned out pretty good. And this is the paper towel that I spilt the ink when I was making the album, so I wiped it up. I thought, well, I might put that in there. Kind of polyed this side and put a little postcard over some of the ink. Here's a tag. Smile. You know, got to do that every day. So you look in your book, you can remember to smile. Here's a recipe card I put in here to add some favorite recipes or journaling spot. Baby got her blue jeans on. This is kind of cool. Little vintage barn with the Levi's saying I made a pocket out of it. Stuck that in there. So a flower, some glossy accents. This is the other side of the paper towel. <laughs> Had to cover up the ink and kind of made some tuck spots. This is a, kind of one of the big. Got a little too big. Well, you put the. It had some big holes in, so I put the loop in through there. Kind of a tuck spot. And this kind of keeps going throughout the page. This is the other side of the pharmacy bag. It says, stay beautiful. It's important, too. And I think this is the third third signature. Some more vintage Levi's. There's a little, it has a Christmas stamp on it, but it fit into this pocket, so... It came out of the stash and went into the book. What am I doing for time? Okay, so as we keep going through the book, like I said, it just kind of repeats itself with the same style. This was kind of a cool photo. Has some overall overalls on the wall. She's kind of standing there. Kind of old vintage photo. And then we get to our last signature page. She's got some more tabs and kind of follows the same type of... Oh, here's a tuck spot. I didn't know if I wanted which side of the paper, so I put a twist in it so yeah, I could see both sides of the paper. And this is a little flap from the paper. This is an artist in our community. Her name is Bonnie Moore, and her uh, bookmark fit into that little pocket nice. So I thought, oh, she... That's going in there. That's kind of cool. It's an oatmeal bag. Another uh, be your own kind of beautiful. It's kind of cool. So I made it really big. Big, big tag. And then this was an envelope that I made. Kind of put some designer paper on. I made a little flip out thing and has some tuck spots in it on the other side. It's got the glued down the flap and this tab tag is in there with coffee filter wrapped around it and some bingo numbers on this that little teeny tiny journal that I made when I was making journals. Kind of sewed it down the center and kind of stuck in there. And this is another place for journaling and photos. A little tuck spot there and an oatmeal bag. And we come to the end. And right here is a little spot that has my information on it so they know who made the journal so there's my journal and then you just take your little headband and it kind of easily goes on there like that and stick your journal in your pocket like so and take your glasses and stick those on here I always think journals when they're sitting around they just look kind of interesting like I want to open that up and look in there so that's my journal and it goes off in the mail to Jennifer and Jennifer, I hope you like it. It was a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I really enjoyed the swap. Thank you for watching.